An injured sea turtle's in good hands tonight after being rescued by the Coast Guard. The staff at the Sarasota Aquarium is caring for this turtle who was likely hit by a boat. New at 6, Eric Waxler shows you how they hope to get her back to sea. This is Mrs. Turt Lee, injured but floating calmly in a tub at Moat Aquarium's rehab hospital. It looks like a propeller hit her. You can see very clear propeller marks slashes through her carapace, which is her top shell. Mrs. Turt Lee was named for a Coast Guard supervisor after a rescue a mile off Longboat Pass. An unknown sharp object was spotted sticking out of her shell, but it fell out before rescuers got to her. The injuries to the 230-pounder keep her from being able to dive under the water. It's hard to see any animal come in, but especially when they're coming in because of people and because of them getting stuck in crab traps or because of boat strikes, it really hits your heart a little bit more. The turtle has had a hard life. Along with the boat strike injuries, she also has marks from a shark bite on her shell. But rehab specialist Paul Hillbrand says turtles have an amazing ability to recover. They can have a complete boat strike that breaks their carapace and goes all the way down to their lung and their organs and they will, the bone will heal back over and they'll have a full recovery and it could take a year but the, the recovery still happens. Caregivers at the aquarium say what happened to Mrs. Turt Lee is a reminder for boaters to be extra careful in the water. You gotta always be on the lookout. It is nesting season. There are more turtles coming around so it is really important for boaters to be on the lookout because these guys can pop up anywhere and everywhere. Mrs. Turt Lee was also nicknamed Fat Tire because rescuers used a tire to move her. One day they hope to move her again back to her home in the Gulf. In Sarasota, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.